Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the Old School Picker. So I made a purchase on the Highway 127 sale this past year, and I had one item that paid for it all. It's going out today. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Restone Shop. I am Chris the Old School Picker. So as I said in the intro, I had a purchase on I had a bunch of purchases on the Highway 127 sale this past year and started listing some of it yesterday. And I made one big purchase of some baseball bats, softball bats, new old stock. And I, I didn't know I knew it was a good deal. I knew it was a good deal. But I wasn't sure how long they would take to sell because they are older model uh, baseball bat, baseball equipment. But I already had one sale yesterday. I've only listed one. <laughs> listed one, sold one, sold it immediately. I'm going to tell you about that because that one bat pays for the whole deal. I'm going to tell you about it in just a few minutes. But we're going to get started pulling orders. I think it's like fourth or fifth in the lineup. I only have seven sales going out today. Only seven sales. But it's a really good total because I've been listing some really good items. Uh, total orders, uh, seven sales for $342.49, including that one bat. And it's really, really good. So let's go ahead and get started. It's Kobe Day. <laughs> Haven't talked about Kobe Day in a long time. But yeah, we're going to take Kobe out to town today. Um, just because I've not been able, we've not been able to go to town a whole lot here lately because of the 127 sale. I've been so busy. Anyways, first order going out is on our good friend Plants Time Shelf. So thank you so much, Plants Time. Everybody go check his YouTube channel out, Plants Time. But yeah, I've been extremely busy with the 127 sale. So yeah, it's been a few days since Kobe's got out. So we're going to take him to town today. Go grab us some lunch and just kind of enjoy the day. And the weather is absolutely miserable, but <laughs> we had it planned for a while to go today. Um, it stormed really, really bad last night. Really, really bad. Luckily, no damage to my place. Anyways, I don't know about everybody else, but I've not been out. But I don't think so. But lightning every three or four seconds is as big a lightning storm as I've ever seen. I don't mind storms. I don't... Uh, hate storms i actually like storms but in the middle of the night because this was hitting at like three in the morning i don't like it in the middle of the night like that because so many people's asleep and you know just no warning but <laughs> yeah bad storms last night and i know a lot of people was without electricity this morning luckily we have electricity and i'm glad because i've got some items to ship out right First item going out is this Auburn University Tigers, Auburn Tigers uh, license plate. You may have seen I had two of these, but this is the white one going out. Uh, license plate, new sealed. I love picking up these little license plates, you know, 50 cents a dollar, because they sell. They always sell. And what makes this one really special is, that's right, it's going out to a reviewer, Danny over at Piqua Resellers. I've known Danny forever. He has a YouTube channel, by the way, and listen to the note he, uh, he wrote me. It's a pretty long note, so I'm going to bring the camera down here. Hey, Chris, I hope all is well. I love watching your channel. You have been keeping my goals of getting back to reselling high. I've had back surgery and stopped YouTube and reselling. I am back at reselling, and my YouTube channel will be back this month. I will, give, I will be giving you a shout-out, not that I get many views, but I am on my comeback tour. Uh, and so thank you so much, Danny. Everybody go check him out and give him a huge comeback. Danny over at Piqua. P-I-Q-U-A. Piqua Resellers over on eBay and YouTube. Thank you so much, Danny, for the purchase of the license plate. It's going out today. Didn't know you was an Auburn fan. But anyways, it sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, next order going out, L17. I love having almost $50 average sale price. I love that. Uh, almost $350 for seven orders. So I love, love that. 
golf clubs not sponsored but we'll talk about kim's underscore clutter over on macari poshmark and ebay go check out kim's clutter kim's underscore clutter on all three of those platforms thank you so much kim good thing about slow ebay sales you know if you only have seven eight orders going out if you're selling high dollar stuff it it adds up so thankful for that you know i'm always the one that says sell what you find and luckily and thankfully i have been finding some really good stuff here lately and a lot of that had to do with the 127 sale a lot of that had to do with the private picks i've been going on too here lately add-ons a2 os three wood hybrid right-handed graphite women's flex 42 and a half inches this one needs a new grip grips pretty roasted on this one but even in that condition, and I probably paid a couple of bucks for it, it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next item, H6. Pretty cool little item here. Not a ton of value here, but, nah, you know, sometimes I just like selling cool stuff. And that's this DVD. And it's on our good friend MusicInferno.com shelf. MusicInferno.com over on eBay. That is his eBay username. That's our good friend Joseph. So thank you very much, friend. I sure do appreciate you as well. Uh, love selling DVDs. Love selling media in general. Uh, picked two of these DVDs up. Actually, three of these DVDs up. I have a UFO one. This one going out. I have a Bigfoot one. I priced it pretty high because all the comps were very, very high. I think I paid five dollars for three of them, so less than two bucks each. But the Bigfoot one was like, it's like, and I probably could have logged them up because they all go together they're on the trail of and this one is ufos and this one i did take the best offer on i still do good on it uh for 12 bucks plus shipping good deal if you're interested in family life uh go check out the end of the video because i'll probably take my camera to town with me today all right i sold a hat and this is part of the 127 hat deal or one of the deals anyways not sponsored up there, but we'll talk about our good friend Addicts Exchange over on eBay. Go check out their eBay store, Addicts Exchange. I sure do appreciate you guys. Uh, this, <laughs> going to be fully transparent on this deal. I bought three hats on this deal. Way, way, way overpaid, but I absolutely fell in love with the hats. It's not going to work out. I'm going to probably, I might make a little bit. I would have made a little bit of money on this deal if I hadn't screwed this up, but I'll tell you that in just a second. But I think I'm going to make, still make a little bit of money on the deal, but I paid 80 bucks for three hats. Crazy, I know, I know, but this was a good hat. I got that Richard Petty diamond hat in that deal. And also a Batman painter's cap. Uh, the video for that was last Friday's yard sale. Highway 127 yard sale video. Go check out that video. Anyways, this is a Nike. I called it a lightning bolt. I don't know if that's right or not. But it's got lightning bolts on it. right? A Nike. Just do it. Sports specialties cap. Sports specialties. Highly sought after caps. Alright, here's where I really messed up. <laughs> I had this listed for $49.99 plus shipping, 50 bucks, which is probably about right. Uh, I dropped it yesterday out of my draft bank. I immediately had a watcher. I tried to send an offer of $44.99 plus shipping, right? $5 off, right? If it sold for $5 off, I was super happy with that, especially if it sold quick. Well, instead of sending an offer of $44.99 plus shipping, I accidentally sent an offer of 44% off. <laughs> well, of course the buyer bought it. And yes, I could have canceled the order, uh, took the ding on my account, or maybe even explained to the buyer what I did and asked if it, I could... Um, asked if I could cancel and it wasn't even been a ding on my account if they had asked me to cancel but I was like you know what that's my screw up so I'm just gonna eat it <laughs> and I'm gonna eat it on this deal uh probably still like I said probably still make a little bit of money on the deal because those other two hats are pretty good but not as much as I was hoping so I did end up selling this hat for $27.50 plus the shipping how many ever has ever done that accidentally sent 
a percent off instead of a few dollars off. Well, I did it on this one and it cost me about, assume, assuming he would have bought it for the 45, it cost me about 18 bucks, but whatever. I'm happy with the sale uh, and I hope he enjoys it. It's such a cool hat. I couldn't pass it up. 80 bucks for three hats. I know I'm crazy. That wasn't my best deal on the Highway 127 by no means. But I just love those hats. I can't resist at this point. So $27.50 plus shipping. All right, this next item is going to mess up for any screw ups, I believe. Uh, this whole deal is going to mess, uh, make up for any screw ups. And I've been putting my bats over here and I think that one's dropping today out of the draft bank. But I sewed this guy right here and it sewed immediately. This dropped out of my draft bank yesterday at one o'clock at one o'clock at 20 after one 20 minutes after it had been listed i had four messages about this bat four messages i didn't put best offer on it and people was wanting me to send them an offer you know and telling me what they would pay for it i was like you know what i have had so many messages about this bat i think i'm gonna just stick with my guns and stick with the price that i put on it now, I paid $70 at the Highway 127 sale for 22 bats. Basically, three bucks each, right? Three bucks each. And I listed this one yesterday. The first one I've listed is still is wrapped in plastic. The grip on this one is not dry rotted or flaking or anything like that. It's in perfect, perfect condition. It's new old stock. I would say this bat is from the early 2000s, if I had to guess. Anyways, there's not a whole lot of this stuff out there to comp, but I've seen this exact bat selling pre-owned $50, $60 range. This is a baseball bat, by the way. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to list it high. There was one new one listed. They had it listed for $250. Bucks. I was like, you know what? Not sold, just listed. I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. I think that might be a little too much. And I, I bought these things to sell, right? I got 22 bats. I, <laughs> I don't want baseball bats hanging on forever. And plus, you know, baseball season's coming towards an end. So, you, you know, if you're going to sell this stuff this year, you need to be getting rid of it. Well, I ended up listing it for $124.99 plus shipping. And as I was replying to those emails, a fifth person, I had four emails asking about it from four different people, a fifth person came in, bought it full price, $124.99 for that bat. I've got 21 more, guys, 21 more bats, and I paid 70 bucks for all of them. I'm already in the profit after one bat. It's going to be my best deal of the Highway 127 sale. For sure. Now, all of the bats I don't think are going to be this good, but I think it's going to easily be an average sale price of around 50 bucks per bat. Maybe more. I've not looked them up. I've only looked up like three or four of them. I do have one more bat that I believe is exactly like this one. I may price the next one up a little higher, but this one ended up selling 125 bucks plus shipping. That pays for the whole deal good deal uh i may make enough on the bats to pay for everything i bought during the highway 127 sale i hope so it's it's going to be close so good good deal all right the bats are not sponsored but we'll talk about our good friend pinjo picker thank you so much pinjo picker i sure do appreciate it and i missed you at the highway 127 sale this year hope you make plans to come back next year all right next item h four uh, this is a pretty decent little sale and it's on our good friend cindy's shelf cindy's attic specials go check out her ebay store cindy's attic specials love that name love 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 that name you guys are you guys have got such creative names anyways i sold this uh little house on the prairie big adventure collection box set of eight books i believe I believe I paid like four bucks for this thing. I believe. I can't really remember. I remember buying it. I remember where it came from, a yard sale. And uh, it was a yard sale, but they, they called it an estate sale, but it didn't have much. It was more like a yard sale. <laughs> 
But anyways, I did end up selling it. Took the best offer on it. It's a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. It did sell for 19 bucks plus shipping. All right, this next sale is so, so awesome. I love this as well. It's on our good friend Kathy's Thrifty Treasurer Shelf. So thank you so much, Kathy. Everybody go check out her eBay store, Kathy's Thrifty Treasurers. If you watched last week's episode, last week's episode of Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast, because we filmed that yesterday, I talked about this sale right here. And, uh, well, because I'm a week late on my videos, OSP videos, just now getting to it over here. But everybody go check out the, go check out the meetup video on Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast too, the Highway 127 meetup. And then also go check out last week's episode if you have not already. And if you have not already subscribed over there, man, we still need a lot of help over there. Like 300 people, a lot of help. So if you guys could help us out over there, sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe. This came from the private pick. It is a trophy topper, a vintage trophy topper. Listen, <laughs> trophies don't sound like that no more. That thing weighs eight ounces just by itself. Eight ounces. Um, vintage, I would say, I don't know. I would say somewhere between the 50s and 70s. I know that's a pretty big gap, but I would say at the old, uh, the earliest it is is the 70s, but I would say maybe even the 50s. But anyways, listen to the title of this. I think this is key on these things. This is the first one of these I've ever sold in my life, Trophy Topper. Came from the private pick. He's He had a bunch of them. He's still got a bunch of them. And I was like, well, you know, I'll buy three or four of them this time. Try them out. See how they do. And if they do good, I'll buy the rest. Well, I'm probably going to buy the rest just based on this one sale. But listen to the title. Vintage Sports Car Racing Metal Trophy Topper. Heavy. Uh, beer Tap. A lot of people. I didn't know this, but as I was doing research on these things... A lot of people put beer taps on the title uh, for kegs, you know, beer taps. A lot of people repurpose these for beer taps and also car hood ornament. A lot of people repurpose these as hood ornaments on a car. How awesome is that? So if you see vintage trophies and you don't want to ship a big old trophy, maybe take the topper off of it get rid of the base and just sell the trophy topper right put beer keg in it or beer tap and uh put car hood ornament in it because that's what a lot of people use these for so pretty cool uh this one came from the private pick i have no idea what i have in it per piece but i'm in the profit on both of those deals at this point so that's really good this one sold for 49.99 Plus shipping, I love selling that. Uh, it's going to be super easy to ship, and uh, it was super easy to list. 50 bucks plus shipping. Love it. All right, one other thing I want to talk about before we move on is this guy right here. Uh, Highway 127 sale. Uh, i done a bolo video, top 10 bolos. Everybody go check out that video. Pretty good video. It done really well, actually. But top 10 bolos that I was looking for on the Highway 127 sale. And a lot of people had never heard of these guys, and I found one. And I am, of course, talking about stompers. That is a stomper right there. Uh, I did test it. It does work. I've already took the battery out, or I'd show you. But you put the battery in, you turn it on, and it goes running across the floor. So, <laughs> And they're really fast. I uh, picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar. This is the first one other than the mcdonald's stompers mcdonald's put out some with happy meals back in the day they're only worth 10 7 8 10 bucks somewhere in that range but that's a real one right there guys that is a real one this is a stomper chevrolet camaro and uh, these things have a lot of value i picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale and i'm not 100 sure the value on it so what I am doing is I am starting it on auction today. By the time you guys see this video, the auction will end tomorrow because this video will come out Wednesday. The auction will end tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, Going to price it high as a starting bid. Uh, 
think I'm going to list it for either $40 or $50. That way, if it gets one bid, I paid a dollar for it. Uh, I'm happy with it, but I think it has a chance to get a little bit more. I think it's worth about 70 bucks, 70, 80 bucks. But the last time I had one of these guys, I listed it for 250 bucks and it sold immediately, <laughs> immediately. And I asked the buyer, you know, what was it worth? I know I sold it too cheap. You know, I'm not going to cancel the deal. I'm sending it to you, but what's it worth? And he told me around 400 bucks and, and that he was willing to pay 400 bucks for it. <laughs> Yeah, I got 250 bucks for it, and I paid like 50 cents for that one, but I lost 150 bucks. So I told myself, if I ever find another one of these, I'm going to put it on auction. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to start it high. If it gets one bid, I'm happy with it, but I think it's got a chance to go way higher. So if you're interested in that, go check out the auction. It will have a day left by the time this video comes out. So if you watch the video when it comes out. But anyways, that is a stomper. Super excited to run it on auctions. I don't do many auctions on eBay anymore, but an item like that, I'm excited to do that on. All right, less is more on eBay. Uh, $350, only seven sales, but I am happy with that. Thank you again, Danny. I hope you love your license plate, my brother. And also this bat, man. Wow, I thought these would take forever to sell because they are old technology that one sold immediately. Now, some of them may take longer to sell for sure. I expect a lot, bunch of them to take longer to sell, but I'm in the profit already and I still have 21 bats. That's an amazing deal. That's going to be it for the sales. I'm going to do a little bit of video when we take uh, Kobe to town today. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If not, thank you guys for watching. Old School Picker out. Watch the rest of the video.